This video will demonstrate how to schedule a job to satisfy the regular business requirement to have a job order on the last working day of the month. Often a business will have the need to have a job or application run on the last working day of the month, not the last Friday or last calendar day. Examples of this could be but are not limited to payroll or billing applications. Here you can see a 2016 calendar showing the last working days. You will see that every day of the week is at least once the last working day and in some instances the last calendar day of the month falls at the weekend. The solution I'm going to demonstrate here is based around a standard Monday through Friday working week. It can be simply tailored to suit other working weeks. Here we have the planning domain of a version 9 workload automation client. That's Enterprise Manager in old technology. I have two tabs already prepared. Firstly, we see in the Calendars tab a regular calendar called Weekdays. Here we see Monday to Friday of every week in 2016 selected. Now if we switch to the other tab, I have a workspace with a regular folder containing a single OS type job called Last Day. If we now open the job Last Day, here we see a sample job running an LS command. If we now go to the scheduling tab of the job, we see the scheduling options field is set to based on calendar with relative calendar days from start end of month period selected. In the calendar field, we see the weekdays calendar we looked at earlier selected with the option order only on calendar days selected. Going further down, we see in the calendar days counting from end of month, we've checked the minus one option. This will schedule the job only on the last day of the period as defined by the other selected options. Going still further down, we see all months selected. This is self-explanatory. There are no further options selected in the scheduling tab. If we now go back to the top of the scheduling tab, you will see the View Schedule button. If you have Control M Forecast installed, you can use this to check your definition. Here we see the 2016 forecast for our job. You will see all days when our job is to be scheduled match those indicated in the slide at the start of this video. If you don't have forecast, you can use the Control-M server utility CTM-RPLN to check your definition. This is detailed in the Workload Automation Utilities Guide. That concludes this Control-M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.